morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new it's currently 6 30 a.m and i am heading to the gym thought i would do a quick outfit of the day i forgot to do this in yesterday's vlog um so i'm just wearing the cool tech speed up zip from lululemon that's what this is and then underneath this is the lululemon invigorate sports bra and then these are my lululemon aligns in 25 inches and then my adidas cloud foam in white let's go to the gym i woke up feeling a little bit more awake i think than i did yesterday so that's good Well, I just got finished my workout and whew, that was really tough. Like it's just increasingly getting more and more difficult, but that's a good thing because that's how I'm gonna build these muscles. Because the repetitions are going up and I'm up in the weight. And some of these were supposed to do 20 reps and I can't make it. So I've been splitting it up and instead of doing like three rounds of 20, doing like four rounds of 15 to kind of like make up for it because I literally can't do 20 reps of some of these. Packed my little lunch box with ice packs to keep my protein shake cold. I have just been obsessed with drinking these after my workout. They're so good. The vanilla ones, not the fruity cereal. Vanilla ones are so good. Here is my stats for today. Again, finished our workout before 8 a.m. I freaking love that. This is such a treat. I actually look forward to it. And before these, when I would do the powder shakes, those things I didn't look forward to. I just had to like down them like medicine. These, I literally feel like it's like my prize after working out. So good. Just got out of the shower and I'm making my oat milk latte. I've been loving the cold brew, but I feel like I need a little something more today. So we're gonna do a shot of espresso with my oat milk. It's so good. And I like to add the oat milk as it's brewing so that way it just mixes itself. I feel like it turns out better. Sometimes I will froth the oat milk in my frother, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. So we're just gonna make it without frothing it. Here is the final product. So freaking good. I like this oat milk better than the Oatly oat milk, which I know is not the common opinion. Usually everyone loves the Oatly oat milk, but I don't know, I like this one better. I haven't compared the like sugar calories or anything like that, but I just like the taste of this one better. And also look at my cute new sugar dish. Have to show you guys. I mean, how adorable is this? I only ever use sugar when I do hot coffee and lately I've been on like this iced coffee kick, so I haven't used it yet. But I got this little sugar dish from Bed Bath & Beyond when I was with Chad's mom over the weekend. And it is so cute. So just appreciate that. Okay, so I asked you guys on Instagram what content you wanted to see today. And I got a lot of get ready with me, do your makeup, show us skincare, all of that stuff. So we're going to do our makeup on camera today. I'm going to do a little of this dry shampoo. I got dirty hair. So I'm using the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. Love this, I use it every day. Next step is foundation, and today I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder Double Wear because I want a pretty full coverage look since I'm gonna be taking pictures today. And then for my concealer, I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. I really like this one. 
lately. I think it works pretty good. And then I'm using this e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder to just set under my eyes and any places that I kind of get a little bit oily. I don't like that shiny look. So, And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my Dip Brow Pomade. I got my eyebrows laminated and it's supposed to last for like three months or something like that. And I feel like mine lasted until my first shower. <laughs> So I'm not gonna go back to that place. I I don't know. I didn't see enough of a difference compared to other people who I've seen get it done. So I feel like it was, must have just been the place that I went. Like they just didn't do a good job. So next time I will try to find a place that has someone who like does this all the time. I went to a place that mostly does lashes, but I didn't realize that until I got there. And then I asked him about it. She was like, Yeah, we we do some brow laminations, but we mostly do lashes. And I was already there for my appointment. I was like okay hopefully this goes okay and it did not i mean it didn't go bad but like clearly i didn't quite get what i wanted out of it and then for my bronzer i recently started using this charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer it is so freaking expensive for a bronzer not gonna lie but it actually is kind of worth the hype like i'm really impressed by the glow that it gives me and i really like the color this is um number two medium and I'm using this It Cosmetics brush called the Airbrush Power Wand in number 108 if anyone cares and I just feel like it works really good especially when I make that face <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot also I need to give you guys two updates so the first thing is the student planner yes I've been working on it but I am behind on finishing it so I feel like by the time you guys see this it's just gonna be so hyped up like um, it's been taking me a really long time because of Sun Bunny and because Valentine's Day so I'm doing three Fridays of drops of new inventory so that takes so much of my time that I haven't really had time to continue working on the student planner but I promise you I'm gonna have it finished very soon I don't have that much left to do with it but it is gonna be like another day of me going through and finishing it up um, but whenever it's live, you know, I will let you guys know and all you students can get it. I'm very excited. I'm just going to use a little bit of this in the crease of my eye too because I don't feel like doing like a bunch of eyeshadow. The other thing I was going to update you guys was Animal Crossing and uh, streaming on Twitch. So many of you guys have asked about that because I like started streaming and then I never streamed again. <laughs> so sorry. I want to get back on streaming again. I just haven't had like a break to do it when I started doing that. That was back in December when I had... COVID and I had like nothing to do. I couldn't go anywhere. So now I'm back to being really busy, but I will make time soon for it. I haven't even played Animal Crossing. My island still has Christmas decorations up. So it might be fun to like do a stream uh, taking down everything from Christmas and like redoing my island for spring. But whenever that time comes, of course, I will let you guys know. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. I think I tweeted it last time when I was uh, streaming. I'll probably post it on Instagram too. But if you follow me on Twitch, then you will get a notification. My Twitch username is Miss Kopari, which is just the name of my island, Kopari, and then Miss in front of it. I don't know. I just, I didn't know what to make my Twitch username. So now I'm going to put a little bit of liquid eyeliner only in the, uh, like outer part. I'm just going to do like a little, little flick. Just a little, see? And then I'm going in with my NARS Climax Extreme. I really need to get an eyelash curler. I used to use one and I think it made a big difference, but it's like that extra step, you know? The girl who was doing my eyebrows, she was so sweet, but she was like trying to talk me into doing eyelash extensions. And you know, I don't have the best eyelashes, but I think they're decent. I don't think I would do well with eyelash extensions. I think it's way too much upkeep for someone like me. Um, and I also sleep on my face and I also like to do liquid eyeliner. So we're not gonna do the eyelash extensions anytime soon. Something I would love to try one day, but not anytime soon. Finish it off with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And then, oh my gosh, this Buxom lip gloss. I actually already have it on right now. I'm gonna put a little more on. This stuff, this is good stuff. It's called the Power Plump Lip Balm. I actually just got it in. 
um, I want to go buy it in Sephora over the weekend and they didn't have it in stock because apparently it's so popular every time it's on the shelf she said it sells out so I ordered online and it came in and it is really good it's just like plumping lip balm but it doesn't give you that stinging feeling and it's just hydrating anyway that's my makeup I feel like I just talked your ear off I'm gonna go get dressed now okay I put clothes on and I also just finished filming a little try on haul for Instagram and I haven't done one of those in forever if you guys don't know before I was like full-time doing YouTube videos I used to be really heavy in the blogger world and I would do try on hauls all the time and share like fashion and makeup and I still love all of that stuff I just now kind of almost do it in the video form rather than on my blog and on Instagram but owning a boutique I feel like I should be doing try on hauls more often so that you guys can see what the clothes look like on me like in a video style and like hear me describe it versus just seeing a picture on the internet um, like you know on the Sun Bunny website so I'm really gonna try to start doing try on hauls more I think it went well although I might come off a little awkward I I don't know why it's like no issue for me to talk on camera on YouTube but then I go on Instagram stories and I'm like I don't know what to say. <laughs> Yay me, I sold a bunch of stuff on Poshmark. So if you guys aren't on Poshmark, go follow me on there. I literally have so many good things. Stuff still new with tags and just things I've only worn a few times. You guys know I cycle through clothing like crazy. So this is uh, my goal this year. So just start putting stuff on Poshmark more often and I have to pack up these orders now. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I finished packing up all the Poshmark orders as well as Sun Bunny orders. And I just heated up some leftovers in the microwave from dinner last night. Just chicken, some broccoli, and potato wedges. And so I'm going to have lunch. And then I'm honestly just going to take a little break because, I don't know, I just like feel like I got hit with that midday slump. I don't know, I'm just like really tired all of a sudden. I was actually starting to work on the digital planner and then I just like... I don't know, sometimes I feel like sitting in front of a computer all day is just exhausting. This is so good. I'm having my lunch with this AHA, but Chad and I decided to get a different flavor this week. We got orange and grapefruit, and it literally tastes like an orange soda. It's so good. I am so freaking excited right now. My new alarm clock just came in, so I got this new alarm clock to help me wake up earlier and also just wake up more peacefully. I feel like I kind of wake up not in the best mood, even though it might not seem like that in my vlogs. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with my alarm clock. So I got this one after reading tons of reviews and it's one of those like sunrise alarm clocks. So it has a light on it that will change as the sun rises. But not only that, this one also like helps you get into a sleep routine. It has an app that goes along with it. It can be used as a reading light and it also has like meditation, sleep sounds and white noise. So it helps you like stay asleep. And I am just so excited to try this. So I'm going to set it up. And tonight will be the first night. Chad's not even here, but I'm going to try it out. Okay, I just plugged it in. It says it's setting it up now. And I am really excited. It, this is kind of like what it looks like. It's very, very simple and cute. Looks modern. And I guess this is supposed to really help me get a better sleep routine. It even allows you to kind of put like your routine together. So I like to read every single night. It will allow you to do that for 20 minutes and just kind of keep you on track to go to sleep at the same time, wake up at the same time. And I've been doing a decent job at that on my own, but I'm excited to have this to kind of keep me on track. And by the way, I found the hatch on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you can buy other places too but I'll link uh, the one that I got because they have like several different versions, but I got the Restore one, which does like the sunrise. I don't know if the other ones do that, but I'll link the one I got in the description. It is now dinner time and I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this super easy, healthy Mexican style quinoa bowl. Very yummy and easy, so I love that. It's perfect for just one person. So you just need some quinoa, of course, brown rice, black beans, corn, you can also add avocado, which I wanted to, but the avocado I had, unfortunately, wasn't good anymore, so I had to throw it away. So sad. So I won't be adding avocado to this. Um, but yeah, I have the quinoa going right now. I'm going to cook the black beans and corn, and then I'm basically just going to throw this all together in a bowl, and I'll show you guys.
here is the final product. I'm about to destroy the aesthetic right now and I mix it all up. This is such a tasty like power bowl and it just has quinoa, brown rice, black beans, corn, lettuce, tomato, and then I topped it with hot sauce. I'm about to fill up my bath and do a little face mask while I'm in there and I thought I would show you guys my little face mask collection. This is going to seem absurd to you guys that I have so many of these sheet masks, but I have just been collecting these for quite some time now because I just wanted to have a nice collection so that I don't have to buy them for a while. I really like doing these a few times a week. It's truly a form of self-care for me, especially in the bath. Uh, I have these ones from Face Tori. Of course, I showed you guys that I got these from Loops. And that's another Face Tori. I have the Purifying I'm Cactus Sheet, the Moisturizing I'm Aloe Sheet, Sun Bay Soothing Mask, Soothe Me, tea tree mask skin clearing that actually sounds nice so that will be an option we have the pharmacy brightening coconut gel sheet mask i feel like i want to save this for when my skin's feeling really dry because this just sounds really nice and then i have the sephora golden mask a saturday skin spotlight brightening mask a detox mask the dr jart ceramidin facial barrier mask Sephora Mud Mask, and then Be Bright, Be You Gold Foil Mask. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this tea tree one. Sounds really, really nice. <laughs> 